Hi folks, in this video we're going to show you how simple it is to integrate BigQuery data with Neo4j tools and functions. But first, why should you even care about integrating with Neo4j? Neo4j is a graph platform that makes it amazingly fast and easy to ask and answer questions dealing with massively interconnected data. Among its many capabilities is a graph data science solution, which allows data scientists to do complicated analytical tasks with relative ease. For example, suppose we have a BigQuery dataset representing a shipping network of interconnected airports. You might be interested in doing risk analysis to identify which airports are potential bottlenecks or failure points, or detect communities of regional interdependence which are well connected within themselves but are at risk of becoming isolated if one of the hub airports closes down. If we integrate this dataset into Neo4j, we can use Neo4j Bloom to visualize the information in an intuitive and interactive way. Rather than just working with this furball mess of connections, for example, we can use the geospatial properties of the airport data to space out the nodes in an approximation of their real-life locations. Additionally, we could enrich the data through analysis using Neo4j graph data science, and add that insight to the visualization. To find bottleneck airports, for example, we could run a between-the-centrality algorithm and make the size of each node proportional to its importance in the network. To find areas of regional interdependence, we could execute a Louvain community detection algorithm and color-code airports according to their groupings. Here, for example, we can see that the accessibility of the yellow community heavily depends on its connection to the hub airport at Mossy Haven. But in order to do any of this, we first need to get the data from BigQuery into Neo4j. This is the main focus of this video. The core of this integration is a BigQuery stored procedure facilitated by Apache Spark. Creating this stored procedure is mostly a question of coordinating the necessary assets. Those include connection and authentication information for BigQuery and Neo4j Aura, instructions for how to map BigQuery data to Neo4j nodes and relationships, and a few other things. Once created, we can invoke this procedure by supplying arguments for the necessary assets. In this case, we place sensitive connection information in a file kept by Google Secret Manager, and data mapping information in two model files. Less sensitive and complex information is merely hard-coded. At this point, we can run the procedure with a single click, and in a short time, we have access to the lovely Bloom visualization you saw a moment ago, with all of the interactive tooling mentioned. And that's all there is to it. Now you've seen how easy it is to integrate BigQuery data into Neo4j and gotten a taste of the powerful capabilities that this integration can unlock.